Peace. What's good creatives? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about three quick music video tips when you're shooting with the Canon R6 or the Canon R5. Before we jump into today's video, I wanna talk about the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Soundstripe. Soundstripe is a subscription-based stock music library where YouTubers, filmmakers, and creators all can get high-quality music for their work. Offering a standard plan, a premium plan, a business plan, and sound effects only plan, they have a variety of options you can choose from. It starts as low as $11.25. On certain plans, you can access over 40,000 sound effects and tons of music, including sick curated playlists. With over 5 million licenses to date, you can start licensing music now by clicking the link in my description for 20% off any of their plans and become a part of the Soundstripe family. Get unlimited music for your creations today. So yeah, shout out to Soundstripe. Thank you again for sponsoring this video. And thank you for making a great website where people like me, creators, can get good music and sounds for their projects. Not only that, they do stock footage now as well. Click the link below, check them out. So my first tip when shooting music videos on a Canon R6 and R5 is do not use the IBIS. This is my personal preference this is my personal opinion but i think that the ibis just totally sucks on these cameras if you're shooting wide whatsoever at all period any type of wide shot you're gonna have all type of jiggly jello shots and it's gonna just be trash this is just my opinion i think it's trash i don't use it i will not use it ever again if you're punched in like 50 millimeters and closer you might be able to use ibis but for the most part i just say shoot rocky shoot regular shoot handheld get the handheld look don't try to get the ibis in body look in shots it just i think it looks bad use a gimbal use a tripod use a slider use a crane use something else don't use the embody all right so tip number two the codex on the r6 and the r5 are really heavy so they are messing people's computers up not really but they're slowing down the processors and it's hard to edit this footage so here's what i've come up with make sure that you're making timelines for like b-roll and just certain footage or certain cameras separate it by camera or b-roll whatever make sure that you take all your b-roll and you lay it out on its own separate timeline and you render it into out and then you should be able to smoothly scrub through all that footage and pick out your selects. Otherwise, you're gonna be like skipping frame to frame and it's just gonna be a long process trying to uh, get your B-roll for music videos. Last but not least, tip number three, shoot in C-Log for the best quality and best dynamic range. If I'm shooting like a vlog or something, I'll probably typically just shoot in a neutral picture profile because I don't feel like coloring it down that much. Make sure you're shooting those music videos in a flat profile. C-Log uh, gives you mad dynamic range. I think it's 10 bit on the R5 and the R6, if I'm not mistaken. Shooting C-Log gives you more details in your highlights and in your shadows and the blacks. It gives you more details and it just looks great. Don't shoot in anything other than C-Log if you're shooting music videos with the Canon R5 or the R6. So those were just three quick tips from me when you're shooting music videos with either of these cameras. Only reason I decided to make this is because I shot some music videos with the Canon R6. Trying to pick out that B-roll from the R6, it was 4K 60s, was just eating the processor up and I had to find a way to be able to scrub through smoothly on the b-roll and pick my selects i actually proxied all the footage and when i proxied it and i toggled the proxies on the b-roll was not in slow motion anymore well it was in slow motion but it was playing in real time so it was hard for me to figure out where the b-roll was actually selecting when i marked in and out points if that makes sense hope it does so just skipping out on making proxies for the b-roll period and then putting it all on one timeline and rendering in to out made it so much easier to be able to just scrub through smoothly and pick out the good shots out of the b-roll and get rid of all the bad shots canon r5 canon r6 both amazing cameras if you are shooting music videos um, these tips should help you and if they do hey slap the like button for me if you're new here consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video i'm sure there'll be some more coming definitely peace